In this video, we'll balance the equation for AlBr3 plus K2SO4, aluminum bromide plus potassium sulfate. And what I'll do in this equation here is I have an SO4 here that's a polyatomic ion. It's called the sulfate ion. And then I have three of them over here. So since I have them on both sides, I can just count this as one thing. And that makes the balancing really easy when you have these polyatomic ions. So let's add the atoms up. I have one Al, three Brs, two Ks, and then just the one sulfate, the one SO4 on the product side, two Al's, one Br, one K, and then three of these SO4s here. Let's start by balancing the aluminums. We could put a two in front of the Al Br3, so one times two, that would give us two. Those would be balanced. Two applies to everything, so three times two. I now have six bromines. We could fix the bromines by putting a six in front of the KBr. That would mean one bromine times six. That would give us six. But now for the K, one times six, we have six potassiums. Well, that's easy enough to fix. We have two here, two times three. That's six, so two times three. That gives us six. And then the three, again, it applies to everything. So we have one sulfate times the three. And that gives us three sulfates. This equation is balanced. So by grouping this SO4, calling it one thing, that made it a lot easier to balance this equation. If you didn't do it that way, if you just broke your sulfur and your oxygen up, it would still work, It'd be a little bit harder, and you'd get the same answer. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for ALBr3 plus K2SO4. Thanks for watching.